Yeah, I can start. Um, so starting with what is give power, right, Almond? What is give power? Is it a token? Right. What do you exactly. do with this thing? Yeah, so um, awesome. Yeah, so so give power. Well, technically, give power is a non-transferable ERC20 token, but give power is also the name that we uh, dubbed to this entire uh, program where basically you can support giveth projects without donating to them. Um, so part one has launched already and part one is getting give power. The way you get give power is you stake give tokens in the give farm and you get give power just by staking your give tokens. If you want to get more give power, you can lock up your give tokens and you get a multiplier and then you get extra give power. And then from there, what you can do, which in this part two of boosting is coming coming soon, coming within the next month, um, you'll be able to actually go to give us projects and basically vote on them with give power it's like give power is kind of like the voting token for signaling support to the giveth projects that you believe in so um you can yeah go, go to your favorite giveth projects put some give power on those projects and then those projects get boosted and they get a ranking um the the top ranked projects on giveth will then get additional benefits on the giveth platform for example, their donors will get more givebacks. So normally, if you donate to a project, you can get up to 75% of your donation back in give tokens streamed over time. If you donate to like the give power ranked number one project, you actually get more give tokens back as a donor, as a new donor. So it's kind of a lot to take in, but that's why we're kind of releasing it in these in these smaller bite-sized pieces. But that's kind of like, here's your like introductory overview. And I would love to take time in this Twitter space to kind of like hash through each of the different parts of it, um, like the staking and locking, how does boosting work? How does it affect givebacks? Um, and kind of like separate those parts out. But like just from a top level overview, give power is something that you can use to support giveth projects without donating by voting on them and by helping them achieve different benefits on the platform love it love to start with that information i don't know if Griff or Kotabe, uh you would like to add something else to this uh, overview that lauren just shared if not we can keep going with the questions thank you so much lauren for this um overview around give power um the team is super excited actually to have this new future uh Griff, go ahead yeah, so, so, sorry, it broke up and I didn't hear you say my name earlier to say, invite me to speak, but I always got things to say because like, you know, Give Power is a major piece of the long-term roadmap. And uh, like, there's a lot of details to Give Power and how we're going to execute it and and the how, but I, I want to also like introduce the why. And and the why is pretty huge. It's, it's this fact that right now, if you want to support uh, creating value for society, you have to do it with sacrifice. And that is dumb. We're never going to advance as a society if people are required to sacrifice, go against their own best interest to create value for society. That means donating, volunteering, sacrifice. Sacrifice to create value doesn't make sense. That's not what makes the free market great. That's not why, that's not how we have iPhones in our hands. We have uh, we have these crazy devices. We have incredible like individual uh, like value is being created, but it's always if you can pay for it. How do we get this same coordination without having with uh, around in the public good space? We the only way to do it is to get rid of donations and to get rid of volunteering and actually make it a win win for the people participating. And give power is the first step in a, in in a, in a in a definitely an ambitious roadmap to get there. It is where we actually allow people who believe in the future of give token. They believe in the future of what we are doing, and are willing to hold give tokens and and excited to hold give tokens and be a part of this. Right. Well, if you are a give token holder, you can actually now support your favorite projects without having to donate. You can invest them effectively. Now, you're not really investing them in the traditional sense. You're just locking them behind your favorite project, the ones that you think are, uh, you know, the ones that deserve better givebacks. You're effectively controlling the issuance of the give token. You're controlling this economic model to support projects to make the world a better place. But this is just the first step. 
And the last step will eventually be this place where Give Power has enabled people to lock capital behind a nonprofit or a, a for good project, like any a, a verified project that is do, making the world a better place. So now that there's capital, real capital locked behind this project, they can use that capital and make their own micro economy where they can be rewarded for the value they're creating, not through a business model, but through an economic model. There's no revenue in Bitcoin or Ethereum for the network itself. Most of the, the reason that people are actually participating, like mining Bitcoin or Ethereum, is because of the block rewards. They get funded through issuance. They get funded through their own economic model. And then that's created a beautiful piece of infrastructure for everyone to enjoy. But this is, uh, and this is the model that we want to enable small nonprofits to be able to create their own, effectively their own tech startup where they have an economic model instead of a business model and they can innovate and produce value in the nonprofit system because people locked, believed in them. People locked give tokens behind them and now they can use those give tokens that currently today they'll be locked there for give power, but in the future they'll be able to use them to launch their own bonding curve, to launch their own micro economy, their own DAO, and actually uh, build a, a build their solution while being rewarded for it. Whereas before they had to beg for donations, now uh, once curves comes and micro economies come, uh, all based off of give power, uh, th they'll be able to actually. Uh, seek investment and people will be able to buy give tokens and deposit those give tokens into their micro economy and actually invest in these nonprofits. So that's the, this is a huge milestone for us uh, in Giveth because this is the goal that we're working towards. We're working towards a world where people can start their own uh, nonprofits for, but with expectation of actually being rewarded for their work uh, in fairly. And uh, Give Power makes is like the first milestone in our roadmap after Give Backs, really, and after our token launch that gets us closer to that goal. Yay. I don't know if it's only me, Griff, but you're kind of cutting. Uh, I think that we catch everything you say. And fortunately, this Twitter space is being recorded for the people that miss and want to be as hype as us with this uh, lunch and with this information. Thank you so much. And um, I love all what you share and all what you said, because I think that uh, that actually is a good uh, start for the things that are coming for this Twitter space and for us to discuss. Because you mentioned that with this launch, now projects uh, are going to have the opportunity to get rewards, to reward their donors. But how can you actually get give power in this first stage in this launch? Um, why is it good to get some gift power now? Because I know that some of the people that's here actually are gift token holders. So that way I think that you have your um, hand raised. Go ahead. Hey, um, do, you, do you hear me well? I think that um, maybe my internet is not the best, so just want to know. Yeah, we can well. hear you. Okay, awesome. Um, thanks. Um, I, I know. I like on the one hand, I want to talk about just what you asked right now about how how to get give power. But before that, I just wanted to I don't know compliment everything that uh, Lauren and Griff had said with. Um, I think also something that is very powerful um, and that it give power starts enabling um, but of the of the larger vision of give is is complementing uh, be becoming a donor because you, you you can be a donor and as a donor you get as in every other way or another other platform that you're donating you give uh, your funds to the project but here like hundred percent of the funds go to the project anywhere in the world but then with the givebacks, you get you get rewarded for donating, and you actually get empowered to become an impact investor. And I think that's that's super powerful. When every donor can maybe continue being a donor, but then get empowered to become impact investors on the projects that they believe on, uh, so that to, to to create regenerative economies and to invest in these regenerative economies. 
Um, and right now I am in a town in Colombia called Barichara and I'm seeing all these regenerative projects and um, I'm super excited about them. And I just, I just would like to see them grow and mature and spin off and create their own regenerative economy. Like, and, and that's just super exciting for me. And I want to be part of it and I want to donate to those projects. And then I want to invest in those projects and, and um, give power, giveth and, and give power uh, will allow me to do that. So I just wanted to compliment, uh, to, to, yeah, say that. Thank you, Kotabe. I think that that's a great point that actually for Latin America, this is a huge milestone because as um, all of us here up here know, uh, there's a lot of projects focused on climate, earth that are in Latin America. So this is going to be huge. Lauren, I think that you wanted to say something. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, I can jump in and answer the question you're asking about how can you actually get Give Power and like, why would you want to get Give Power now before you can boost projects? Um, yeah, I, I got opinions and I got answers. Um, so, yeah, getting Give Power to get Give Power. I mentioned it before, but I'll go a little bit slower right now. You, you actually can just stake your Give tokens in the 100% Give staking pool in the Give Farm. So that's at giveth.io slash give farm. It's the first pool you see. It's like highlighted in a nice pink square and it's the, the give power staking rewards pool. And, and this is actually like the first way that we start building this like win-win relationship between the projects and the people who have give tokens is by actually um, allowing the people who stake their give for give power to get a yield. So it's like, Actually, even if you were staking your gift tokens before in that 100% gift staking pool, you already have give power. You don't actually have to unstake them and restake them. It was just upgrading the contract. So you already have give power and you're still earning yield. Um, and yeah, and, and the, the reason that like we wanted to launch this part of give power, the staking and locking part first, is actually to allow people to start already benefiting from the rewards and already getting curious and starting to discover like how give power works. Because right now you can, before we had the APRs were like relatively low for staking rewards. Um, but now we actually want to reward additionally, the people who are staking and holding their give for a long period of time. So if you're like a, a long-term believer in giveth and the give token and give power and where we're going with this vision you can actually stake and lock your give tokens for a period of time you can choose between one round which is like a two-week give backs round it coincides with the give backs round so it's like two weeks is the minimum period and the maximum period being one year or 26 give backs rounds so you can stake your give tokens. Already you have give power at a one-to-one -one ratio with your give tokens. And then if you lock up those give tokens for a period of time, then you get a multiplier. And the multiplier applies both to your give power. You get more give power for locking it, but also to your APR. So you can earn, if you lock your give tokens for, uh, for the full year, for 26 rounds, you can actually earn 5.2 times the APR of, of the minimum staking rewards. So um, it was like actually a question that came up. It was really interesting. Just shortly before the Give Power launch, we had people um, asking the question of like, oh yeah, the, the staking rewards for Give Tokens is getting low. Like, what do you think I should do with my Give Tokens? It was like, just wait. Because now actually, yeah, if you lock your Give Tokens, you'll, you, you'd like, to, I think the max APR right now is somewhere like, it's at least over 100%, if not closer to 200%. I think the minimum is like 50% around there for, for not locking your tokens at all. So you can actually get like, yeah, five times the multi five, five times the APR, five times the earnings, and also get your give power right now. And then, so we already have also like the the give power page uh, set up in the give economy, so you can start to explore like just some of the concepts, like the you stake and lock your give tokens, you earn a yield, you get the give power, and you can use that to support projects. So I think it's like bringing people into the ecosystem, getting them to start get familiar with give power, and also rewarding the people who are in it for the long term. Love it. And for all the people that maybe is listening to this recording later, um, where do they can find all this information or a guide or a document like around the staking, locking, uh, the state of Give Power now? Do you have that info? Yeah, actually, we have. Oh, yeah, I'll just jump in with this. It's a quick question. We actually have our Giveth documentation. So if you go to docs.giveth.io, there's documentation about like everything to do within Giveth, like what we think about, how our DAO works, and also 
how to stake and lock your gift tokens for Give Power. Actually, Mitch is in this call, and, and Mitch is like one of the, the key people behind our documentation, even wrote that documentation as well. So praise Mitch, man. Praise that guy. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Thank you for um, everything, for all the information. And then I would love to just jump into one of the most exciting part of this Give Power launch, which is Project Boosting, which is the next stage of uh, Give Power. I love that um, the team just created this um, rocket for brand the Give Power. So if you uh, talk, tweet, about Give Power, please use this rocket emoji next to, to Give Power for people to start identifying more the concept. But talking about project boosting, um, Lauren Griff, could you talk a little bit more about how actually projects are going to be boosted through Give Power? Do you want to take it, Lauren, or I can take it? I'll let you take it. I've been speaking a lot, but I'll jump in if you say anything wrong. Perfect, because uh, I might. Lauren really does the project ma product management for all this and, and owns the details, but uh, I thought it'd be good to say something on this. Basically, you can boost your project from two ways. Uh, you can boost a project from two ways. You can actually, uh, when, when we launch the product, you'll be able to just go and it'll be an option like donating. You can donate or you can boost. Uh, you'll only see the option, of course, if you have give power to boost. Uh, or sorry, uh, you won't be able to act on that action action unless you have give power to boost. So uh, you'll have to uh, click in the project. You can click boost and you can add give tokens and basically lock give tokens behind the project, which is really the the dream. And that's kind of the the ease of use that we want for donors. We want them to be like, yeah, you know what? I I donated to this project. Then I got a bunch of give. I don't really. I just wanted to support the project. I don't need the give. I'll just lock, I want to support the project more, I'll lock the give behind the project. So we want to enable that user flow. But there's other users that really care about the give economy and less about the project. So we also have the, the in, in the give farm, you'll be able to uh, boost projects as well. Well, you'll be able to, uh, there's kind of an advanced page that will allow you to kind of select which projects you want to boost. Maybe Lauren, you could talk about that side of things. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so so like Griff was saying, if you want to boost projects, you can you just go to their project page, you can click the boost button. And then the way the boosting will work actually is it's like you select a percentage of your total give power that you want to put on that particular project. So the first time you you pick a project, you put 100% of your give power on that project. And and we set it up this way basically so that like there's never give power going to waste. There's all these nuances with the with the locking and the unlocking where people's give power will like fluctuate. The, the number of give power will fluctuate as their tokens get locked or as their tokens get unlocked. So we want to make sure that like 100% of your conviction is going behind the projects without you needing to like micromanage it every time they like get auto unlocked or every time you add more tokens to, to stake. You don't have to like then like micromanage exactly where those tokens go. So you can basically like add projects to your, to your boosting projects just by going to the project, clicking boost, allocating a percentage to that project, and then it gets added to your list of boosted projects. If you wanted to then like fine tune the adjustments of like what percentage of your give power goes to which project, it's just under my account. Like in Giveth right now, you have my account, you can see your donations, you can see your liked projects. You'll also be able to see your boosted projects and it'll be all the projects there. And you can actually just like adjust the percentage that goes on each project. So you could like make it so that like you put 10 projects and each project gets 10% of your total give power. And then those are like maybe the 10 projects that you believe in equally. And then as you add more give power, um, by staking more gift tokens or by locking your gift tokens, like that, your your give power amount will will distribute evenly to all those projects you believe in. And I, I want to emphasize something Lauren said earlier too, if that's possible. Uh, that there's like something really cool about how we structured this. Is voting shouldn't be voting. Voting seems so hard all the time, especially in DAOs. Where it's like, okay, I gotta go and I gotta read each proposal, figure it out, da da da. Voting is most of the DAOs are voting like like they like we've been voting for the last two hundred years, 
And I'm sorry, it needs an upgrade. Voting should be signal aggregation. It doesn't need to be boring and dumb. It should be as easy as like, uh, I mean, one day I think it'll be as easy. It'll be automated by AI, just like what advertisements we see is automated. But we're making a, a step in the right direction by making it more like signal aggregation. When you add more give power or you, or you, or you get rid of some give tokens you unstake, you don't have to unvote. You don't have to change your vote. Whenever you signal be, that you want to boost a project, we keep track of that and we note that. And then if you get more give power, the projects you like get more boosting automatically because that's the goal. We just want to aggregate the signals of the give token holders to understand what they really care about and which projects deserve to get extra give backs. And so it's super cool. It's like you you boost your favorite projects and if your give power fluctuates, so does your that's your voting power. You don't have to adjust a thing. If you get more give power, you don't have to go and reboost to anything, which I haven't really seen uh, in, in DAO space. Thank you. Thank you for that, Griff, Lauren. And thank you for everyone that's listening. If you just join, we're talking about give power, the latest um, give launch. We're uh, making an overview about what is give power, what is give power for, if this is actually another token, um, how can you actually get give power? And we just cover about project boosting and what does this means uh, and about this signaling uh, that's going to give to projects and to the give holders. And um, now getting a little bit more on the uh, surface of this uh, give power, how will actually nonprofits and how will actually donors are going to benefit for uh, from give power? I know that we already kind of cover that with all this uh, overview around give power for maybe just like in a more uh, superficial um Sage, could you please explain how this actually will going to um, be in favor of nonprofits? Yeah, yeah, I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I mean the the way that this works with nonprofits is like really by building this um, win win relationship with their donors. Previously, and I mean, and you know, to this day in the donation space, nonprofits get donors sort of by being like hey you know could you could you donate to us like it's almost like looking for the benevolent giver who's um going to support your project or support the thing that you believe in because maybe they believe in it too and they have the funds um but it's like there's not a lot of like um like direct kind of like win-win scenarios that's created um with a donation space so um the 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 key here is by building this like win-win relationship between the nonprofits and their donors like if, if you consider give power within the whole context of giveth um it's like a donor who is in this just this position of like wanting to give funds to something they believe in could donate to that project and because of the give backs program they get give tokens back and then cool that's that's already awesome like that's already the donor getting a reward for donating which is something that didn't happen before and now the nonprofit can go to the donor and be like, hey, actually, with those give tokens you got back, you could further support our project by staking them um, for give power and putting that give power behind us. So it's like the donor donates, the donor gets give tokens, and then the donor is able to actually like stake and lock their give tokens, earn a yield, and then like then then actually use their gift power to be boosting the project so it's like a way that the donors can actually support the projects while earning in the process which is something that yeah just never never really happened before and so i think that's like the power in the win-win relationship between donors and nonprofits is is that it's like empowering for both parties and i think um you know the biggest hurdle really is um like is the is in the explanation i think the biggest hurdle is in the explanation and getting people to use the tool and to understand what's going on here but um i think it's it's really really powerful to to create that opportunity where everybody who's involved in the public goods sector who whether they're on the ground doing the work or they're a able to provide funds they actually can benefit from that arrangement love it this is so exciting and for everyone that's here 
please go to the gift power page you can start staking and locking your gift you get some gift power uh, as lauren was saying play with the tool um give feedback to the team feedback is super important in this stage of uh the launch to improve the project to improve uh, the product so please go ahead and then um, I would love to hear more about something that Lauren was mentioning at the beginning of this Twitter space uh, regarding more of the details, because I know that um, in the next stage, Gift Power is going to boost projects, but how does this actually um, reward, multiplier, reward multiplier work? So meaning what is maybe the equation or the way in which these rewards are going to be multiplied? How how this is going to be calculated. Oh yeah, I can do that, sure. Yeah, so the way that the rewards multiplier is calculated is actually, um, it's directly related to the number of rounds that you lock for. Um, so it, we calculate the multiplier by the square root of the number of rounds you're locking for plus one. So if you rock, lock for zero rounds, um, your multiplier is 1x because it's just the square root of one. But if you lock for one round, then it's the it's your multiplier is the square root of one round plus one, which is the square root of two, which is like one point one point four. One point four. <laughs> yeah, math. Um, so yeah, that that's just the the way that I I don't know. Is that is that the question? It's like how does the multiplier calculated, right? Yes. Yeah, so it, it's just as simple as that. And it's the same for the, the same the same equation for the number of rounds that you lock. So um, yeah, it, the, it, it's up to a maximum of the square root of 26 rounds plus one. It's up to a maximum of square root of 27, which is 5.2. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Um, I love to see just like with a uh, voice uh, behind you, just like saying the answer um okay so i have two more questions and then i would love to for you to share whatever you want regarding the gift power to the people that's listening remember that we're going to this space is being recorded for you to share if you think that this is something that someone may find useful for you to share later um i also know that with was mentioning that uh, this is part of the give of equation the gift power following uh, the gift packs, uh, the gift back. So can you maybe share a little bit of like the overall roadmap of uh, all the given tools that are going to be um, launching the future that are going to be empowering nonprofits and uh, the public goods space, um, what this actually roadmap looks like? Yeah, for sure. Uh, there's a lot on the roadmap. So there's and there's a few different patterns. Uh, but right now, of course, we have Give Power, which is just launched. And before that, we already created our own governance mechanisms. Uh, so around the NR Give token and our reputation DAO, uh, we also had the conviction voting for act actually spending the Give Treasury. Uh, we have, uh, and and you can see that it's called the Give Garden, and we we of course launched by uh, our the Give Drop, where we distributed governance rights and the Give uh, and the Give Stream to all the donors that we could find scrolling through the Ethereum address lists that we could that we could get, and uh, and so it, the idea was, hey, let's first distribute governance rights across and. Let's launch Givebacks, which is uh, basically the Web3 version of a tax deductible donation. Uh, the Web3 version, as in there is no governments, there are no taxes. It's just uh, we use, uh, we, you actually donate and you get give tokens in return. And so we, we launched with all of those things. And now we are adding Give Power, where you can lock those give tokens behind your favorite projects and uh, kind of boost their signal. Uh, on the platform, as well as control how Givebacks works via that mechanism. Uh, so we have la just launched the locking mechanism. The next will be actually the boosting, which is very close. Uh, we just wanted to launch it in parts to, for a couple things. Uh, number one is to go slow for the nonprofits and only change one thing at a time so that they can keep up with the Web3 pace. And also uh, number two, to be slow with our users, our donors and everybody else, 
uh, changing changing less things all at once is always better. So we just uh, and then of course it's also nice to have stages in our own roadmap where it's like okay, let's let's advance this technical hurdle and this technical hurdle and this technical hurdle. So boosting should come very soon. It was all basically developed together. Uh, and after we do boosting, the next is trying to get our own house in order in a sense and really advancing give fi. So we we definitely need uh, to bring in more revenue into the platform and itself. And we want to do this uh, through a few ways. Number one is kind of like how Gitcoin does with uh, uh, creating an optional donation to Giveth when you donate. And when donors donate, it'd be nice if they knew that, hey, we're, we're giving you a great service or even throwing gift tokens at you. Do you want to give a portion of your donation to Giveth? And that's that's uh, the very next thing on our roadmap after boosting. But that's, you know, it's totally opt-in and it's still uh, no fees on the platform. And the next uh, the next thing is really GiveFi. So GiveFi will enable us to earn revenue off of the latent donations that are sitting on the platform. Right now, when you donate on Giveth, uh, you're actually just sending a transaction directly to the nonprofit. There's no smart contracts involved. And this is actually a step back in our smart contract development work because for a long time, and actually it's still up today, Giveth Trace has a very complex backend with a bridge to Rinkaby and it's a uh, has a whole smart contract system behind it uh, with liquid delegation. It was very advanced, uh, especially for 2017-2018 uh, smart contract development. But uh, we wanted to start from scratch so that we could uh, include the new stuff that's happening, the DeFi space. And there is money just sitting there. And really, this is the brainchild of Willie, who's in this call. Uh, but uh, so I'm paraphrasing him. And if he, he wants to speak, he totally should speak to it. Uh, but he, uh, when money is just sitting here, when someone donates to a nonprofit, if the nonprofit hasn't withdrawn it, we can actually use it to earn interest on DeFi. And uh, we can also do this in, the, especially in cause-focused uh, matching programs. So uh, we have uh, give matching already kind of up. We just haven't raised enough in our matching pool, but we want to include matching pools and uh, uh, especially cause-focused matching pools, so that when someone don't wants to donate just to support the environment in general, they have an easy bucket to throw it into, and uh, they can know that it will get allocated appropriately. Uh, and that money, though, while sitting in the matching pool, it should be earning interest in DeFi uh, and really safe DeFi strategies like Aave and Compound and, and these things, not not very risky things. And uh, that that's what we call GiveFi, and that will actually enable us to take some revenues off of lane donations without adding any direct fees to the platform to to donors or or nonprofits. And uh What's really cool about that is that we will we won't just it's not like uh, it's it's the Web three way we'll actually use those that interest that we earn to buy give tokens on the platform and something that we are likely to add to it as well is what I'm dubbing give savings because I like to throw give in front of everything but I don't think the rest of the team likes that so I won't say that that's its name but uh, we want to also enable the nonprofits to share in that value so. Uh, well, if a nonprofit decides that they don't need their donations right away and they want to lock their donations for a period of time, they can actually earn an interest as well so that we can become almost like a savings account for the nonprofits that are working with or using our platform. And that would be really cool because, uh, you know, the goal of Giveth is to slowly integrate nonprofits into the Web3 space so that they can use that to achieve their mission. And it it's going to have to happen slowly. And this is just an easy thing. Hey, now these nonprofits are actually using DeFi. How? Well, they got some donations on Giveth. They clicked a button and now they're earning interest on Aave. How crazy is that, right? And they're participating in the lending market. They didn't have to do a thing. And, and hopefully that can excite them and get them curious about Web3. So it's very aligned with our mission. After GiveFi, the next big step is GURVS. And uh, GURVS is, well, I, actually, before I talk about GURVS, GiveFi is going to happen in parallel with the matchings program. And we want to partner with Gitcoin 
to simply add quad, uh, quadratic uh, voting and quadratic funding into the Giveth platform. Once they have their uh, Grants 2.0 platform out, we want to be one of their first users to, uh, to help bring quadratic funding to the Giveth platform. Uh, if we raise enough money in the Give Matching program before that, then we'll start out with just classic dollar to dollar matching using the rankings from Give Power and Boosting to decide who gets the matching, uh, who gets to have a matching round each round. So, uh, Give Matching, Give Fi, these are kind of the big next steps for us. Uh, and while that's happening, we also are partnered with Common Stack. And really, Common Stack is uh, kind of spun out of Giveth and is the applied research arm about building these micro economies around the public good space. And so, within the Common Stack, we already launched the Token Engineering Commons, uh, and we worked with them, worked with that community to build a, 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 a public goods focused economy. And now we're partnered with Grassroots Economics to help them work on theirs. And actually, we're looking for another commons to launch. And if you know any nonprofit groups that are very Web3 oriented, have the Web3 experience, uh, Common Stack is targeting the nerds of the nerds to build the same stuff that Giveth is, is, wants to build for nonprofits. And uh, that research is happening uh, uh, every day. We're pushing forward on reputation how do we build a reputation to how how do we reward people for doing qualitative work through praise uh, is kind of our is the common stacks uh, reward system strategy and and just building out public goods focused DAOs. how that's uh that's kind of happening in parallel with the active development in giveth and once once we get done with give fi and give matching and the common stack has launched a few, uh, has launched several uh, public goods focused DAOs, then we're talking GURVs. And this is where uh, things get really exciting, where nonprofits and, and, and the trajectory for a nonprofit in this system doesn't just start at GURVs. Unless, maybe one day it will, but in the beginning, it's going to be the, the kind of workflow that we want to see a nonprofit run through will be s such as this. They come to the platform and one thing changes. They probably already have tried an Indiegogo or a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe pro uh, project, right? Where they've raised money online. The only difference when you sign up for Giveth, now you're raising money in Web3. You can even log in with Google and get an Ethereum address to raise funds. So very low barrier to entry. One thing changed. You're raising money in crypto. You don't need a bank account. Interesting, right? So now the nonprofit comes in, they start raising some money and their donors get givebacks. Well, this is where we are in the roadmap now. Now, the, when their donors get givebacks, they can start to have a conversation that's different than a conversation they've ever had before. They can start to say, hey, donor, you just got these give tokens. I have a win-win opportunity for you. Lock those give tokens behind, the, uh, behind my project. You'll earn interest and I will get benefits on the Giveth platform. And this might be for many nonprofits the first time they've ever had the chance to offer a win-win opportunity to someone to gain support for their project, which is super cool. So now once that nonprofit starts getting a lot of give power, we as the Giveth team will actually start approaching them and say, wow, you have a lot of give power. Would you like to learn to become a DAO? How about you integrate this praise system or some other reward system? It could be coordinate, it can be whatever. Uh, pick a fit your favorite reward system and let's let's get it going for your community. And so now the not only does that one person in the nonprofit, they start playing with Web3. Now we can get their whole community playing with Web3 in a low risk way. They download MetaMask, they have a wallet, and they start earning reputation tokens. No, no value reputation tokens. So that, you know, if they lose their keys, it doesn't matter. They could burn the reputation token and we can give them a new one. And so now they're starting to DAOify. They're starting to give their community tokens so that they can govern their, their own organization. And the first thing they would govern is their donations. It's already sitting there on Giveth. So now we can turn them into a reputation DAO where they can't spend the money that they've received in donations without a vote. Simple as that. And so now they're a DAO. Now they're practicing this nonprofit who started out with no Web3 knowledge has all of a sudden become a reputation DAO and they're governing their donations. Uh, 
if they succeed at that, if they start advancing and they start playing, they're like, hey, we want to actually build an economy. We've figured out what kind of demand we'll create for the token. We'll figure out, you know, we'll, we'll help them understand what it takes to launch a successful economy. And then we take them to the next step where they already have capital allocated to them because of give power. So they have this capital allocated to them. If the people who locked their give tokens behind them want to uh, participate, they can opt in to launching uh, their own micro economy behind that nonprofit. And now once they have the GERV up, uh, everyone who had reputation tokens actually now has a token of value that one day will unlock because to initialize these economies, we'll have to start with all the tokens locked uh, because it's under collateralized by give tokens, blah, 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 details, details. But uh, now that they've launched their GERV, everyone actually has a financial stake in the success of this community. And it's crazy how that can change the motivation for actually uh, advancing the cause. Now, sometimes it can change it in the bad way if it's not done right. This is why we're still in the applied research phase. Adding money to nonprofits is not a simple thing that just will work. In fact, from what I've seen, most of the time it doesn't work. It's very difficult, but it can work and it can spur innovation. And so we need to just figure out exactly that, that formula so that we can rinse and repeat uh, over and over for as many nonprofits as we can find. And once they have their GERV, now people can use give tokens to actually invest in that nonprofit. And if their nonprofit builds a really cool system that has success in one in one town, people would if people want that uh, innovation in another town, they'd have to vote. And actually, they would need to get tokens in this DAO to say, hey, please provide this provide this service to our community. Right. Because in the end, nonprofits, just like government services, they're service providers. They're actually creating a value for an, for a community. And that value can scale. There is an opportunity for economic growth by uh, scaling this organization. So now people can actually use give tokens to invest in any uh, in any nonprofit that has gone through our system. And effectively, Giveth will become like the a next level stock exchange for nonprofits and where impact investors can come and find opportunities to actually uh, a win-win opportunity to support a young startup uh, who wants to make the world a better place and actually profit from it. Uh, and it's going to be crazy. This is the this is the wild roadmap, you know, and we're, it's probably a five-year plan, which is why we have a five-year give stream so that we don't uh, finish our economic development until we get there. Uh, so it's a, it's a long-term plan, but... Uh, when we get there, it's going to be epic. And who knows where we go from there. Yay. Thank you for um, taking us through all the road. I think that to understand uh, launches and products as if power is really, really important to know the whole trip, the whole road to everything that's going to be happening. Um, and I just love it. I love that also a lot of friends that are really close to Giveth or that have a prop, uh, project on Giveth are also here listening because this is actually something that was built for you. So um, please share this information, share this Twitter space when it is over. And I would just love to end uh, with you sharing what is the future of Give Power. And if you want to mention anything else, power, anything else about Giveth, um, I would love to um, end with that. And of course, invite to everyone that may have the question around Give Power. This is a Twitter space dedicated to it. So please um, raise your hand, ask for uh, to be a speaker, and I will do in. So um, future of Give Power, Griff. Uh, Lauren, I don't know if you want to say something around it. Yeah, I think, you know, one thing I wanted to say that kind of came up as, as we're as, as I was just thinking about all these things is like that there's these are where we're moving with Giveth is this like big complex universe where there's like a lot of parts that we're still figuring out. And honestly, the best way to get to an end result that works for everybody is have the feedback of 
our community. So like a lot of the people in this space have projects on Giveth who are Giveth users or Giveth contributors. It's it's like, it's so important. And I would really, really encourage people to go into the Giveth platform, go stake and lock some Give tokens, start getting your Give power and just start to explore and, and see if things are making sense or some things that could be communicated a little bit better. And, and if you're running into things that are like confusing, reach out to our team, like jump into our Discord. You can, you can join our Discord if you're not already in there um, just by going to discord.giveth.io. Um, and that'll like auto generate a link and you can jump in our discord and we have a support channel tag me at Lauren tag tag people in the channel and and just ask the questions or say things that aren't making sense and give us your feedback um, coming really soon actually we're going to be putting out a survey um, just to just to collect some feedback from people who are using the give power sticking and locking to see what they think of the product and just like we want to take that feedback and integrate it so that boosting can actually be better and so that like we can actually get nonprofits and and donors like building these win-win relationships and actually like bring more and more traffic to give us so that we can ultimately keep using web3 tech in a way that's going to transform the public good sector and the one where instead of competing with each other so that like it were to get the highest score in a game where only where it's the concept that like I win and you lose or you win and I lose to changing the game. So it's like we all get the highest score when we support the collective and we build tools that and, and resources that help everybody. Yeah. So those are my those are my closing thoughts in two cents. Like just just use give power, reach out, give some feedback. And um, I'd be really, really happy to hear from anybody. Thank you, Lauren. If you want to jump into the, dis uh, the Give It Discord, you can find also the link in um, the bio of Give It if you enter to a profile. And yeah, please share your feedback. Use the product. Uh, Griff, do you have any last thoughts or words before we close this space? Yeah, thank you guys for letting me rant on on the roadmap. It's always a scary question because it's it's a long thing, uh, and but this is such a huge milestone for us. I'm so happy that we we got Give Power out, and I'm just so impressed by the developers and the community, the uh, the team the team behind Giveth is is it's like constantly like our Twitter. If you scroll through our Twitter, we just have too much going on. It's amazing that we're able to get so much out so quickly and just. You know, if you're interested in working in a DAO, like I, I've seen a lot of DAOs, they're hard. And but the Giveth community is so lovey dovey and it's so much fun. If you want to get involved and help us build this crazy future that we're dreaming of, uh, definitely jump jump in the Discord where we just are about to launch Praise. And it's uh, this is another major piece of the roadmap. Uh, we've been doing Praise for a while, but it's starting to be. Uh, to actually earn give tokens. So we're just about to launch that and, and uh, it'll make it really easy for any contributor who's just adding value in the Giveth Discord or, and hanging out to actually earn give tokens for doing so. So uh, it, it's uh, it's kind of uh, after Give Power and the, like, the big economy launch, this is the big community product that we're really excited about. So uh, definitely join the Discord, start be part of the conversations, get, uh, you know, dish some praise uh, and receive some praise, activate your praise account and start, uh, start being a part of our DAO.